First at five, it was too close to home. That's how some people feel about a brush fire this weekend. It burned steps away from their backyard. Some so panicked they had to pick up hoses to keep these flames from reaching their property. But as Katrina Weber shows us, they say more needs to be done to prevent this kind of danger in the future. Crews on the fire line crossed lines to get the job done. San Antonio City and Bear County firefighters working together to battle a brush fire that touched on both areas Sunday afternoon. As they struggled to reach the source of the flames in a heavily wooded area near I-10 and Foster Road, people in nearby neighborhoods worried about their homes. They did get within 10 feet of our fence, uh, our fence. My, my son's fence, uh, it did char some of it. The backs of his son's fence and others on the street were blackened, despite the efforts of people using garden hoses to push back the fire. The homeowner here says the heat and smoke were so intense that they didn't just scorch this fence, they actually changed the color of it. It used to be this tan color, now the whole thing has turned gray. The smoke was very, very heavy. There's a lot of ashes flying over us. Paul DeBoer says this is the second time since he moved in last July that the area behind his home is burned. He bought the property on Foster Bend thinking it was peaceful. Well, we wanted the green space just so we didn't have neighbors all around us. So, and it is a nice location as long as it doesn't catch on fire. It's still unclear how this fire started, but neighbors told us something has to be done. With the dry, hot weather, they believe more fires among all the trees and grass there are likely I think the first thing they have to do is to create some access back there so firemen can get back. The land where the fire started is private property, and it would be up to the owner to make any changes. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.